What's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Third and long for Winston. Thank you. Hey, what up, though? What's up, Bacon? Oh, if we were regular, I could go to my regular playbook. It's cool. I see you using the regular one. I'll, I'll use my regular one. Alright. Uh, yeah. Alright. I'm at Kelly again in my 4 6. I'm ready. Yeah, come on, that cream's so cool. It's gonna be a um, old school battle. Yeah, last time I played a streamer from Facebook, his jump froze on me. I think I'm huh? We're at the home of the Super Bowl oh, 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. Ah, oh, man, I get ball first. The Eagles will match up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Take him ball first. Here's the punter Bradley Pinion on to get us started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here's carry number one for Jordan Howard. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. 
But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that <coughs> shot early and loosen things up. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They run with Howard. Both have block. Four yards the pick up, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, that's almost a tendency breaker. Six now, first and ten. Running with Howard. And he went nowhere. He went backwards. Back to the 33. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track and it cost him. Sometimes we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. When in doubt, find your veterans. I used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this, when he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. <laughs> On first down, they run with Howard. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. for the life. No score after one on EA Sports. Right. Four six normal.
You're right on that. Mm, oh, I know. That's that's. Those are my um plays right there. I'm all about four six. On second down now. It's Howard. And Man, he's able to get ball. Oh snap! Down to the territory. Two runs in oh, a row, but only two yards to show for it. Charge. All right, there you go. Huh? Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. On the handoff, this is how we're get it. Oh, he's going to come up a short. Brought down at the 45. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Go for it. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. Oh, four, six, bear. They're gonna go for it on four. Let's go, defense. Here we go. Oh, oh linebacker came free. Goes. Shaquille Barrett. Oh, that's it right there. That's the name of this game.
by Jordan Howard, and now another first and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. The last run got six, now second and four. Wentz gonna throw. Oh, we got six. And he's gonna be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48 yard line. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. All right, back on D. So no scoring in our first half. What will the second half bring as we are now back underway? This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And we thought this game had the potential to be tight. Maybe not this tight, scoreless, as we start the third quarter. I love the way oh, that went over me. <laughs> that went over me. I was right there. The Dang. I think both offenses have been tight in how they played this game. No one's been oh, loose. That's no boring. one's been free. They've got to find a way to make some plays, and I don't think you do it if you're really tight in everything that you're doing in the game. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Now a first down carry by Jones. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a loss of four on the first down play. the play fake Winston and that'll be incomplete took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in couldn't hang on third down well this at least is the right idea I think they've got to get the tight end more involved he had just one target in the first half incomplete now incomplete here with the first target in the second half yeah should not stop them at all from going back to him though. find him find him throw it Winston and he's got a man, it's the tight end Howard I there, I messed that up. He has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 36. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there, perfectly executed crossing route. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Another example of just a dominant performance by this defense. Yeah, you hear all the time about teams that try to steal signals from the other side and try and learn their signs and their tendencies. It's almost like they got the answers to the exam the night before and were well prepared for this final. On second and 15. Let's go, Fletcher Cox. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Give the sack to Fletcher Cox. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? Winston from the gun on third down. Let's go. And pressure gets to him again. Fletcher Cox able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. Already. 
ready at the line. This Philly offense set to go. There are zero points on the scoreboard for either side. It'll be interesting to see what the remain. The defense has obviously been great. So if you like defense, this is a classic game. This is what you're looking for. But now you're trying to figure out how to gain any right, type deserve of an it. advantage on same offense. Thing. Is it through a big chunk play that they haven't seen before? Or is it just running your regular offense and running it better, trying to create an opportunity? We'll, we'll see which avenue they choose to go down. They go with Howard again. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves them with third and still nine to go. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Here, back to his own 18. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. Here's Cameron Johnston now, standing right on his own five yard line. Gonna go to the and fourth. Back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, as we are just about set to go here in quarter number four. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Why he stayed up? Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, given 15, and the Buccaneer Brooklyn offense tackles. will be set up well as they take over. The first down throw for Wednesday. I knew that was coming. They'll find Barber out of the backfield. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Jameis to throw it. Oh, you can't catch that? It was Jalen Mills getting a hand in there defensively. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one, and none of them being done very confidently. Well, truth be told, I've never played chess, and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Oh. Messed that up. By Howard, and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Two minutes left to go. This one surprisingly still scoreless. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal, looking to take the lead here in the late going. <gasps> what? Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. Wow, so they were already in field goal range. Now this and a exactly. completely what? new story to tell. And frankly, what they're going to say when they review this game and go over it, they're going to tell them he had one job. 
All right, you knew what you had to get done. You knew where we wanted to kick the field goal from. You know, you know our range. Just take care of the football, and we win the game. Pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. Shaquille Barrett in on the tackle. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, you should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Again, it's Howard, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top Oh, he got the block set. What you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, third. Right He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time, he might actually pop one of these runs. Ah, missed the hit. Is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they keep handing it to him. It'll be a 10-yard return following a punt of 45. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. And forget about finding oh, a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 14. Winston. Ooh. Get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Fletcher Cox able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Winston needing a big play after the sack as he leads the Bucks up on third and long. Now Winston looking deep downfield. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Here's Bradley. He almost. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And this will be taken at the 13. 12 yards on the return that time. Oh, boy. Time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. And it's going into OT. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Tie game, and barring something incredible here, we're likely headed to overtime. And just a couple of scenarios here to keep in mind. One, if you want to be really aggressive, ah. you do throw the Hail Mary and see if you can get something downfield. What would you They're do? going into overtime. Is either hand Nobody scored. Or more likely to take a knee and let the the whole game. Out. Because if I'm back here trying to throw <laughs> and a sack happens, the ball comes free, I can lose the yeah. game here. If I get to overtime, I can still win it. Let's see if they are in line with Charles Davis. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes. I partner. guess we're both defensive okay, minded. So in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden All death. Right. First team to score wins the game. <laughs> All 
ready at the line. This Philly offense set to go. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. Oh, get loose. Get loose. Still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the three, ball four, in bear. Zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give I mean the other team a chance. I mean that 4-6 bear, my bad. You know better. Come on, Jack Ertz. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Yeah, let's go second. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. A give to Howard. And them blocks. Come on. Ah. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Howard. Oh! And a nice run. They're going to take this close to the first down marker. Couldn't get that first, 42. though. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play. First level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. He needed a yard, that's what he got, and it's going to earn him a new set of downs. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. First throw of overtime for Wentz. And he finds his tight end, it's Ertz. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A big pickup there for the Eagles' first down, 18 yards. First and 10 at the 24 yard line. Here we go, here we go. 25. On first down. Ooh, stuffed. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. It was Jason Pierre Paul who was able to get him down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Howard, and he'll get about five here. So he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys, Poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. And they need five yards on third down here to keep this opening drive of OT alive. Again, left side to Howard. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Able to get what they double, need to keep double. the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. So the OT clock hits zero, and we're still not done. We'll switch sides and need at least one more OT to decide it after this. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. They rarely 
rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Wentz off the fake hand. Oh, get it. Oh, man. He held it on to it too long. But well, takes a start to have a good drive, quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Winston Company with some work to do after the sack. On third down, they turn to Sanders, and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at Good the 16-yard line. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves him looking at a fourth down. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set, and that 3-4... You've got to have your guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. And a kick by Elliott is good. The and first the score of the whole game. Lead. They're able to put three on the board here on the opening drive of OT. And now up to their defense to try and see if they can hold this one. I like how you framed it up because obviously this game is not over, right? They go down. Right, I got three, but I got to stop them on death. defense. But if the defense can hold, take the ball away, turn it over on downs, this game's over. This will be taken short. And he'll take this one near the 25, come at the 26-yard line. the 26-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. The field goal would push it to sudden death. We just saw the field goal on the other end, but I don't think they are thinking field goal. At least not to start this drive, they're not thinking field goal. Thank you. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And that's how this one ends in dramatic fashion. GG, GG. With the interception. So we will see yet another drive in this overtime. For whatever reason, Neither team able to finish this game off. I know that the first thought is, does anyone really want to win it? But I think that they both desperately want to win it, and sometimes you force things, and that leads to errors. But it's out there for the 15. taking. We'll see who can do it. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.